Hi, what's up guys? If you're new here, my name is Litsy and welcome to my channel. And if you're not new here, you've probably been waiting for this video. The last time I posted a YouTube video was on May 3rd. And then I kept posting YouTube shorts up until May 7th. After that, I went ghost. And you guys are probably wondering why. So here's the reason why. Um, obviously, um, if you guys kept watching my YouTube shorts, I was trying to reach Phase Rug. So you can come to Melania's Quinceanera. We did 15 videos. We were planning on doing more, but then my team, as you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to play softball. So now I coach softball myself and somehow Edward coaches it too with me. So I coach softball. And during those like couple of weeks that I didn't post, my team ended up making it to the playoffs, meaning they advanced. And then, so basically if you lose, you're out. When was the first playoff game? Do you know? Our first playoff game was Jefferson, which was on May 9th. Yeah, and then I stopped posting on May 7th. And then two days after, we had our first um, playoff game, which was on a which was on a Tuesday. So I was waiting. We were planning on going to San Diego right after that game if we lost. Okay, so we're just waiting to lose. I know this sounds bad, but we were just waiting to lose so that way we can go to San Diego and then try to hand deliver the invitation to Phase Rug. But we played Tuesday, we won, and then we played Thursday, which was second round, and we won. So then um, last year we made it up to the second round. So then we made it to the quarterfinals and we played Monday, and then we won, and then we played on Wednesday, right? We played Wednesday, which was May 17th, and then we ended up losing, unfortunately. And if we would have won, we would have played May 19th, the championship game. And, but unfortunately, we did lose. So there was just a lot going on between those two weeks that I did not post because it's a big deal. Like, it was literally a big deal. It was the first time myself went that far. It was the first time Edward, like, coached with us. So it was, it was a big deal. So, and then the fact that I only had nine girls, you need nine players to play softball, and I only had nine. So if someone got hurt, someone something didn't go right, like that was it, we were gonna forfeit. One of the games, meaning the third game, so it was probably the quarterfinals, um, where one of my players wasn't gonna show up, so we were already stressing enough. Like, we were just trying to make sure that everything went perfectly fine, so that way we don't like half-ass it as a coach and then like do YouTube on the side. So we're trying to put 100% on coaching, and then 100% on YouTube at the same time, but it got it just got really difficult. Because when we were making those YouTube shorts, we were literally planning, filming, editing, and posting at the, at the same day, which is really hard. I mean, I'm glad I had Edward. We were, we were caught up like a lot, but then it started getting tight on us, like everything. Because then we had photo booths, right? That's when we had a lot of photo booths, and then we started getting really tight on time. We would plan the night before, wake up, film it, and then, edit it right after what well, Edward would edit it and then uh, post it the same day if not we if I think we missed like one time where like we posted the, the next day twice okay we posted the next day because it was just like the editing program we we're using was just it was just it wasn't working for us Edward was literally we would go to the game Edward would be editing on his laptop I'll be coaching the girls and once the game would start Edward would stop editing and then we would play the game game would finish and then Edward would continue editing and then one of them was like one of them was senior night he was still editing while senior night we were like having a picnic he was editing and I was like taking care of the other stuff so it was just like a lot and unfortunately we couldn't go to SD we couldn't have the labor invitation in SD so we were doing all that in between and then the YouTube shorts playoff playoffs was a big deal for us which by the way we made history and I'm very 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 proud of the group of girls that made it that far. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it with any other group of girls, if I'm being honest. And then the date for the 15 was getting so much closer, which we had nothing that, well, I myself had nothing prepared. I had no dress. I had no nails on. I had no eyebrows. Um, I didn't know what I was gonna wear. Edward didn't know what he was gonna wear. So we literally went four days before to buy my stuff, my dress, did my nails literally the two days before, my eyebrows, all that. Everything was just very crunched up in time. So I didn't have time to like have Edward come over, film a video and all that. And then the days that we that I actually that we actually filmed the video, so when we we're still posting YouTube videos, not YouTube shorts, I'll be honest, we we're just trying to make sh up where it's like, I need a video, we're gonna do this and that. So everyone was focusing on YouTube shorts and I was focusing on YouTube videos. So I was editing those 
and working on those by myself. And usually, like, we take turns on that. So it's like, if it's too much, like, he'll help me out. If it's too much, I'll help, help him out. But we had no one to go to because he was editing YouTube shorts. I was editing YouTube videos. And then I was literally editing them the day up. So I post around like two, maybe now. So I was I would literally wake up and then edit them and then post them. So it was just like too much. On top of that, we sat to go to the gym because as you guys saw, like we were trying to lose weight. But this just like those three weeks that uh, before the quinceanera, we fell so behind, like so, so behind that we stopped going to the gym. And I'm being honest, we literally did stop going to the gym. We couldn't do that documentary, but we are still gonna go on top of that and probably push it, push the day more, but I won't talk about that right now. The days were just crunching up. It was last and last days uh, for the quinceanera and things needed to get done. Salon, buy like all the alcohol, all like just making sure everything was fine the day of. And then while doing all that, like it made me realize that doing YouTube and all that stuff, like, I don't think, I don't think I enjoyed it as much. So I think this will be like my last video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> when I was away, like not even posting YouTube videos and stuff like that, I realized that I do want to continue doing this. Like no matter how hard it was, let's, let's be honest, during those times I were like filming, editing, posting at the same time i feel like it was so much fun than like other times where we had everything planned what do you think some of the shorts yeah yeah i feel like we had so much fun in like in those short amount of times where like other times we were like we had a video within the week and stuff like that i, I had so much fun doing all that but it just got too much yeah. i know for a fact i want to do youtube for the rest of my life or build a career off of it so i'm gonna continue posting Summer's coming up, we're gonna go extra hard. I'm done coaching, so it's like, I'm gonna have so much more time and dedication to put to my YouTube channel and to you guys. So buckle up because it's gonna be a crazy ride, guys. And I know most of you guys are wondering like, did he show up? Did he show up to the quinceanera? So two days before um, the quinceanera, we realized that he was actually in LA and we made it our mission, our mission to find him and we ended up finding him.